We're now celebrating Hanukkah, commemorating the great Nisim, the great miracles that the Rebbeinu Shalom enacted on behalf of our people at the time of the Beis Hamikdash, and we have the great mitzvah of lighting Neres Hanukkah, the Menorah, or the candles of Hanukkah. And we know that in the mitzvah of Hanukkah, there is a special inyan in the mitzvah of Hanukkah that we don't find in other mitzvahs, that we have all the hidur, mahadrin, a mahadrin, and a mahadrin, that we take pains, that we try to light the candles in the best possible way. Every day we add an additional candle, we light an additional candle every night, and we light candles in an abundance. People themselves light their own candles. Something that we don't find in other mitzvahs. By other mitzvahs, there's Keza Keli Van Vehu. We try to glorify the mitzvahs. But here, this is in a generally accepted principle that for the Hamoinam, not just for Tzadikim, Hasidim, Anshim, Maisa, but the Hamoinam, the populace in general, at large, the, the Hidurim are part and parcel of the mitzvah. There seems, however, to be a contradiction in the mitzvah of Neres Chana, because on the one hand, we light the candles with all the Hidurim and try to light it in the best possible way, but there's also halacha of Kafsa in Zokakla, that if by accident the candles were blown out, we do not have a mitzvah, even l'charchila, of relighting the candles. Now on the one hand, we want to be mefarsim the nais, we want to publicize and glorify the nais of Hanukkah, and we light it in abundance in the best possible way. And on the other hand, if the candles are extinguished by accident, we don't bother at all to relight them. One would think that we want to publicize the mitzvah, and if it goes out, if it's extinguished, we should relight it to perpetuate the mitzvah. No. So on the one hand, we light the candles with all the hidur. On the other hand, kafs ein zokoklo. So what is the deeper understanding of this apparent contradiction? We know that on Hanukkah, the Kriya Satayra we learned from the parish of the Torah, the Hanukkah Sanasim. On Chof Hei Bekislev, the day of Hanukkah, that was the day that the Melechas HaMishkan, that the building of the Mishkan was completed. In the building of the Mishkan, we find the following Pasuk. In Parshas Kisisa, the Torah says, Vaidaber Hashem al Moshe Leimo Re'e. Karasi v'shem, b'tzalal ben Uri ben Hur lamata Yehuda. The pasuk says, "Re'e, behold, look, I call b'tzalal." What is the meaning of "re'e"? What are we supposed to take note of? And in Parshas Vayakel, it says a similar lash and "re'u." Behold, what is this that we're supposed to take note of? "Re'e" to see. What does the Torah want to tell us, indicate with this? The Ramban says, the Torah is saying, Re'eh, look, look at this great miracle that is unfolding before your eyes. Behold this great miracle that B'tzalel and all his staff, slaves that came out of Mitzrayim, that had no expertise whatsoever in building a Mishkan, with the delicate, intricate work that was involved. The Mishkan was Shlachshoiv, Machshovay, Shlasis, Bazohov, Uvakesev, Uvanachoishes, the Malachas Umnas of the Mishkan, the glorious Mishkan and the great the great expertise that was required to build it. Who is going to build this Mishkan? Slaves who came out of Mitzrayim, Shakol Malachtam Berefesh of Atit working in the mud with bricks and blocks, they're the ones that are going to build this Mishkan. 
Behold this great nays Hashem is saying that I'm going to take slaves out of Mitzrayim and they're going to build this beautiful, glorious edifice. And in what merit were they Zaycha? If they didn't have the natural ability, in what merit were they Zaycha to build this glorious Mishkan? The Pasuk says, V'ani hinei nosati ito yes eoliyov ben achisamach lamate dan, uvelev kol chacham lev nosati chachma, v'asu es kol asher tsevisicha. The Pasuk says, uvelev kol chacham lev nosati chachma. To who will I give this wisdom? To whom will I give this skill? Shem says, Uvalev kol chacham lev. I will give this wisdom, I will give this ability to a chacham lev. But Salel, Oliyav, they were chachme lev, and that's why they were zaycha. Now what is a chacham lev? The Pasuk in Mishle says, Chacham lev yikach mitzvahs ve'avil svasai milavet. Mishle Yud, Posik Ches, Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvahs. A Chacham Lev, he will take mitzvahs. The Goyen explains in other Mephorshim, the Chacham Lev, the one that has the Rotzon Hapnimi, he has the desire in his heart to fulfill the Rotzon Hashem, he will grab hold of mitzvahs. He will take hold and grab the mitzvahs with all his enthusiasm. Vavil Sasaim Lavet. But the Avil Sasaim, the one that doesn't have the true desire to fulfill the Rotzen Hashem, he will grow weary. A Chacham Lev is the one that has the inner desire, the true desire to fulfill the Rotzen Hashem. He will not weary. He will grab the mitzvahs. And the Lev, Kol Chacham Lev, Nosati Chacham, the Rabbi Shalom says, to whom will I bestow this wisdom, this ability, this umnas to the chacham lev, to the one that has the rotzen hapnimi? B'tzalel, b'derech b'tzalel, b'derech hateva, there was no possible way that he could have built this glorious edifice, the Mishka. With his natural abilities, this would never come to pass. But he had the rotson, he had the inner desire to fulfill the wishes of Hashem, to carry out the rotson Hashem. Hashem gave him a matona. Hashem gave him this ability to build a mishkan because he was a chacham laid. So even though Bederech Hateva, he could not have carried this out, but Hashem bestows miracles to those who want to, in their whole heart, fulfill his rotson. The Hashmanoim, B'derech HaTeva, there was no possible way that they could have conquered the Greeks. B'derech HaTeva, there was no possible way that this one small pach of Sheman could have lit and lasted for eight days. But the Chashmanoim, with her whole heart, and B'mesiris Nefesh, literally, had the desire to fill the Ratzon Hashem, to have the Beis HaMikdash, B'Kedusha, B'Tahara, to light the candles, L'chadchila in the best possible way, B'Kedusha V'Tahara, and Hashem bestowed the miracle to those who wholeheartedly want to carry out His Ratzon. And so therefore we light the Hanukkah candles, we light the Menaira, in the same way that the Hashmanoim, that they were Oivet Hashem. It's not in our hands to carry out the results. And the future is not ours. We cannot be responsible to know what will happen. It is our responsibility to wholeheartedly, behold, lay the nefesh, 
be over Hashem. So we light the candles, Davka, the menorah of Hanukkah, with all the Hidur, a Mahadrin, a Mahadrin, and a Mahadrin, in the best possible way we can, in the greatest way of Pirsum and Yisra. But the outcome, the outcome is in the hands of Hashem. So we light the candles, Ishu Beisai, B'chol Hidurim, but Kavsa, ain't Zaka Klo. We demonstrate that we're over Hashem wholeheartedly, even though the outcome and the results we acknowledge and know is not in our hands. But we're baiteach in Hashem. We have full trust and bitachin in the Rebbeinu Shalala. And she'osa nisim la'vayseinu bayamim ahem basman hazeh. And just as in those days, the Rebbeinu Shalala bestowed miracles, nisim la'vayseinu, who were over Hashem wholeheartedly, we also have the bitachan that if we carry out his wishes, believe sholem, believe a nefesh, bechol that we too will merit the great miracles in our days. Amen. Vechen hi rotsin. Ooh.